Today we're going to talk a little bit about the salt crystals that you use inside your brine tank. We recommend the diamond crystal. Uh, it's a pellet salt, but it is very clean. So it will dissolve uh, entirely and it won't cake up on the bottom. Some of our customers say, can we use Morton, which is a very well-known salt brand. And the Morton pellet, it looks perfect, but it's got like a starch binder that holds all that together. And what'll happen is it'll sink to the bottom of the tank and it turns into a concrete. So I'm not real big on the Morton product. Uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, HEB, you can get your salt anywhere really. And any brand will work for a while. It's what's going to happen down the road that we're concerned about. So again, we like the Diamond Crystals pellet. Uh, some people use the solar salt. It'll have a little more impurities in it uh, than the crystals do, uh, than the pellet does. Uh, but that will work also for you. Another question we get is, can we use potassium, the salt substitute in our water softeners? Some water softeners, you do have to make an adjustment on the control valve. Others, you can just put it right in. You can blend it with salt. You can use it exclusively. We carry the potassium uh, as a salt alternative. Uh, we deliver it to our customers. We also sell it from our showroom here, just like we do the salt. So, if you have any questions about switching over to the salt substitute, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you.